wondered what sort of inter uh, intercom is going to be suitable for your use and also I'll be comparing if the expensive one and the cheap one which is better and also for depending on your use case then definitely I will be recommending each of it with its own perks for your own use so there's always an argue about you know cheap uh, intercoms and then versus the expensive intercoms yeah so okay that begs the question does this expensive intercom is worth three times more than the cheap intercoms in the market available so there you have it the expensive and the cheap ones so let's talk about the cheap one first so this is the vimoto v9s and it costs a mere 500 ringgit so it has uh, quite good speakers i would say but they aren't as refined as the cardos which are powered by jvls this does also provide some punch in the bass but however uh, this unit is much much more lasting in terms of battery life i can have like you know uh, one trip to penang and about three days of full riding with my vimoto on but it's uh, only for music until back to kl i'm left with about 37 percent uh, battery life left but on the cardo a one trip to Ipo in about two hours and there uh, goes 50% of the juice there's also reason why the cardo is more juice eating because it is actively listening to your voice commands to like uh, you know check its battery like hey Kaido what's your battery uh, hey Kaido uh, battery status and it will tell you the battery status or if you want to navigate to somewhere else you can also use the cardo voice to activate it however for this uh, it doesn't have that function so if not mistaken you have to press on the buttons to activate the uh, you know voice commands but I like this uh, Vimoto due to the fact that it's using USB type C whereby the card though, it's you the, the black edition is still using the you know micro micro usb connection which is kind of outdated now so i guess you have to bring an extra you know micro usb cable on it when you're out for traveling but design wise i definitely will go for you know the cardo in terms of you know classic i mean it's very classy and i like the whole black design and all right so if you have a bunch of friends who are using the Vimoto, then yeah, it is kind of suitable to, you know, purchase one for yourself. And the speaker kit is actually quite cheap at an, about 100 bucks, if not mistaken. So you, if you have multiple helmets and you only have one unit, you can actually like in this, in the change with uh, different helmets. And for the car though, I would say that the mesh network is phenomenal. Um, the voice actually is quite clear and it's actually quite uh, you know sophisticated until to the extent that if you have more than three riders riding together and if one were to drop off the signal it will automatically reconnect with its mesh network so this is the advantage of the car though that actually I quite love it and also the speakers on the Cardo is actually much more refined and it's like the uh, the headphones that you're using at home that kind of sensation for this um, the, the bass is a little bit too punchy for my liking so yeah uh, it's a bit too strong and but the sound isn't bad isn't bad but to justify one one of this cardo can purchase three units of this remoto so yeah the price is a little bit on the high side but um, again what you're getting from this is way more so for the purchase of 500 ringgit you get one year warranty and 
in the box you have the speaker kit, the mic kit, and for the car though, you have a whooping three years warranty for this unit itself, and also the speakers are the bigger versions which add uh, 45 millimeters. Well, uh, you have to depend on which helmet you have. Uh, the ear cups might not fit, so you have to check it out before you purchase your unit. And this does not come with a dual unit, it's only a single unit you are able to purchase at the dealers. So that's, that begs the question, which one suits you best? I would say that it's all depending on your budget and also what is your so if let's say you have friends with cardos, especially the pack top versions, so you can actually get the uh, pack top bow or the black or even the latest version, the H, to you know use with the mesh network. But if you have only a passenger, if you have already got the uh, cardo and one remoto, you still can uh, pair up with each other. But you will hear a lot of. Uh, background ambient noise if you're only on cardo to cardo that background noise is reduced significantly but however i've not tried the remoto's um group intercom before so yeah um I'm able to let you know on the experience so talking about the mounting method for the remoto so it's actually very simple you just need to align it and then slide it in and it's secure and then you take the USB cable and just plug it back in so turning it on and off with two buttons together it's that simple so yeah I mean it's a bang for buck intercom for you know normal usage yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. And for the car though, the mounting style is slightly different. So you have the pins already ready on the unit and the uh, helmet itself, the helmet uh, kit. So you just slide it in and push. So after clicking in, just make sure that it's secure and tight and you're ready to go. So turning it on is easy as well, two buttons. And turning it off is two buttons as well. So the jog dial here is actually quite useful to you know control the volume. And this antenna is useful when you are using the mesh network for the cardo. So it's best to you know have this antenna up to ensure strong connection among your riders. So that's all for today. If you have the extra budget, you may go for the cardo because the cardo is definitely one step or two steps ahead from the remoto but if you are on a budget and you travel most of the time yourself you can get yourself the remoto v9s as it's the best bang for buck uh, choice out there in the market so if you guys want to purchase it um, i'll link down in the description below for the remoto and also the cardboard so see you guys next time bye